Good day, everyone. You're watching Makoga Enterprises. Safety should be our number one priority. What you just watched right now was um, an electrician or an apprentice that was carrying out insulation resistance tests without understanding what B is carrying out, which is very important. If you go through QCS 2014, section 21, part 23, if you move to the level of insulation resistance tests, it says that while carrying out this test, there's an amount of voltage that will be injected to the circuit, which it might be 240 volt panel board which you're working on. And what QCS 2014 says is an amount of voltage which is twice the nominal voltage. It should not be less than twice the nominal voltage of that panel board. So as such, if we are carrying out insulation test for a 240 volt panel board, as such, we have to apply a 500 volt DC to that circuit. This is the amount of voltage that you're applying to that circuit. So we should take precautionary measures while carrying out this test. So an electrician was carrying out this test without understanding the amount of voltage that will be injected, or perhaps not even knowing that we have an amount of voltage that will be injected to that circuit. As such, he receives an electric shock. So we have to make sure that we take safety as our number one priority while working on site. It might be installation works or carrying out inspections on site, which entails us carrying out testing. So as such, we have to make sure that we carry out or follow precautionary measures while carrying out installation or carrying out different testings on site. This is very important. So an amount of volt, amount of voltage will be injected to that circuit. Supposing that we have a 240 volt panel board, as such, we will be injecting 500 volt DC to that circuit while carrying out that test or installation resistance test. So you will notice that the electrician had to select on the selector range a 500 volt DC, which he injected to the circuit. As such, he was touching the two props and then touching the cables as well so that he grips it while conducting the test. As such, he receives electric shock. So we have to follow precautionary measures while carrying out insulation resistance tests or any other tests that we are carrying out in our different projects. Stay tuned and keep watching. If you like this content, do comment so that we'll be giving you more of such contents. Thank you very much. Until then, you're watching Macogan Enterprises.